I'm Phil Reviewing Software and I'm back. Why am I back? Because, well, it's been too hot. Wherever you are in the world, hope this heat wave hasn't affected you too badly. But me sitting in an office when it's been like 36 degrees or whatever it is in the UK. Wow. So we're back into it. Hope you're going to enjoy this one. It's a fantastic form creator that's really easy to use and has got thousands of templates that you can put on your website and your blog just about anywhere. Before we jump in and talk about, as he looks for the name, GoZen, GoZen Forms. The link, fills.deals, you'll find in the description, forward slash whatever the product is, will always take you to the best link. Click on that uh, and find out what the offer is, because sometimes you think, mm, don't need that. Click on the link. I need it for that price. All right, so that's always updated. Fills.deals, forward slash, and this will be GoZen. Uh, always check out the link, find out what the price is. I always try and update it with the latest price. So, are you ready? Let's jump in. Let's get back into it, reviewing the software, and let's have a look at GoZen. And this is where I'm going to start with GoZen because I don't normally do this. Normally, I just whisk through and go, oh, look, lots of templates. But I actually want to show you um, that it's really easy just to set your own form up. Not just that, it kind of guides you through. I like software like this where the first time you log on and use something, it says, ask a question. Next, that's where you click on add a question. That's where you can start your questions. Here's the themes to customize your design. Uh, and there are your form settings. And that's how you publish your form. Uh, speed up the form by filling up the project with logic. Integrate it. Share it. Results. So that's great. I, I love that. I just love the fact that they have inbuilt it into the software that if you're using it for the first time, it will talk you through how to make your own form. But that said, now I'm being lazy. I'm not going to make my own form. I am going to go back to the workspace and I'm going to create from the templates just to show you what there is. And there are so many forms on this. So let's look at all the forms that are available and let's just click on a couple of them. So obviously you can send these forms via email. You can put them on your website. And if we preview the template, add spot booking form. So you want to book a spot with someone. So let's start. What's your name? Phil. I like the look of these forms straight away. So you type in because forms can be very boring to fill in when you've just got to do it in a big long list. Hey, great. What's your last name? Banks. That's not my real last name. Here we go. Me address. I'm not telling you that. E E E. Uh, city. Uh, e E E. Uh, da, da. State. Province. Mm. Ah. Well, oh, it lets me put it in anyway. Sometimes I think of these forms are American based and it doesn't let you put your actual address in the country you're in. It's a bit of a red flag for me, but I didn't, it still accepted me answer. Postcode. Uh, country. No results found for the UK, but it still lets me put it in. Great Britain, does it let me put it in? I always think these are very little things like this. I'm not going to give it, I'm not going to go negative on it because these forms are developing all the time. But I always think things like that. Yeah, you can put your phone number in and your country. Oh, it's got to let me put a valid phone number in for my country. Let's see. So if I scroll down to my find. Hang on. Ah. Go Zen Forms, if you watch this video, this is me trying out your form as a real user. I don't like to be critical on these videos, but I'm honest and I'm using this as a user. So this is what your user would get. And what country am I from? I'm from Great Britain. No results found. I'm from the United Kingdom. No results found. I'm from England. No results found. And it doesn't, I'm just going to scroll through here. I can't, I'm just scrolling through trying to find my flag. So when you type in your search for country, it doesn't show what you're typing. And I'm going to scroll through here and it's very hard to find. I'm hoping to find my country. But again, it's not very user. Sorry, goes on. Listen. This is a bit of a pain. Sort it out, goes then. <laughs> Phil review software. I'm still scrolling. I'm still trying to find my country. Maybe I've missed it now, but again, it's just not practical, this, is it? I'm still scrolling. There's lots of... There we go. And the country code... Well, there's not a 644. 
seven. I'm not going to put my real number. One, 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 one. How many digits is it? It's. Oh, how many? Right. Email. Upload artwork. Comments. And it's done it. All right. So I'll leave it in. I will always leave that in. And, you know, go Zen. I'll probably develop in this all the time. Just letting you know. I don't want to put you off. Um, if you click on my magic links. Oops. Someone's just done a Fiverr job for me. Did you hear that? Boom. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the positives. Lots of different forms about entertainment, education, gaming, human resources, insurance forms, lead generation forms, marketing forms, medical forms. Yes, I'm just reading these out. Uh, Non-profit forms and other forms. You can do online quizzes. Yeah, let's just check quickly the online quiz, see how it looks. Online quiz. Let's start to put your name in, put your last name, student ID, section, and right, single choice question. We're going to go for option A. Oh, I like the look of that. Single choice All right, so that actually looks like a good form. Back to the positives about it. If you spent a bit of time setting up that little quiz, it looks like you'd be able to set up a quiz, good quiz form. So that is basically it. It's Gozen Forms. Um, I like it, but I'm going to jump out now and I'm going to criticise it a little bit. But that's what I do on these videos. Here we go. So, would I use Gozen Forms? They need to sort that out. It's, with, with anything like this, it's not about how easy it is for me to set it up. It's also about how easy it is for the user to use it. I did a thing the other week uh, on some software which was secure signing, you know, using blockchain hot technology. But it was really unclear when the user got the email how they signed the form and submitted it. So again, the same with this. I'm sure Gozen will sort it out and I'm sure that if you click on the link you're getting a great price, price for this form builder. But come on Gozen, have a look at it and make some of those things easier. So I wouldn't use it now. I might use it in the future. So I'm not going to recommend it right now, but I might recommend it in the future. But do click on the link and have a look at GoZen. And if you click on the link and you see the GoZen forms, you might well find on that site some other software that does something similar. So still give it a try and find something for you. Thanks for watching. Uh, and I will see you with another one very, very soon.